Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send email to just our leads automatically. Now here my objective is that every time a new lead is captured in JustDial which is an amazing local search engine then automatically we want to send an email to this new lead stating that we have received the query and we are going to get back to them shortly. Now to do this and automate this process we will have to integrate the two applications and we are going to do the same using Pabli Connect. So our trigger will be JustDial and our action application will be Gmail. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So my objective here is that every time I have received a new lead in JustDial which is a local search engine, then automatically an email must be received by this new lead. To do this, we are going to integrate the two applications using Pabli Connect. Let's understand how. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, you have to sign in and if you are the new user, just sign up. Now once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there is a tab create workflow. Click on this and here you have to name your workflow. I am going to name it as per my objective which is to send email to just our leads automatically. Here we have selected the folder and I am going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response to what happens in your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So whenever you buy something and you make the payment, then you receive a notification through SMS about the amount debited. Now how does that happen? So this happens with the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action application can be any SMS sending application. Now once we have understood this, let's come to our use case. So here we are receiving leads. And we are receiving just dial leads. So here my application will be just dial, which is a local search engine. Next is the trigger event. So here it will be new leads. Now, as I do that, you can see here we have received this webhook URL. Now this URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting just dial and public connect. Here it is written that to automate lead capture, copy the above webhook URL and configure it in your JustDial account. Reach out to your account manager from JustDial. And why are we supposed to do this? Because JustDial portal doesn't have the provision to add the webhook URL on the user interface of their application. Hence, you need to send the webhook URL to your JustDial point of contact or the backend team. Now, as I copy this webhook URL, here you can see it is saying that it is waiting for webhook response. So I'm going to follow this process and receive the lead. And here you can see we have captured the response. So this is the mobile number of the person, last name, first name, email address, location, category and area. Now the thing is that here I have just received a test response. So you might receive a similar response with maybe a few more labels and values. Now, once we have received this information, what is my objective? I want to send an email to this user, to the new lead that we have just received. For this, I'm going to choose my action application as Gmail. Let's click on this. And then this action event here will be to send email. Now, as we do that here, I'm going to click on connect. And now Pabli Connect wants to connect with Gmail account. Since we are setting up this connection for the first time, here I have selected add new connection, connect with Gmail. And now you can see it is asking me to choose an account. I have done that. And now Pabli Connect wants to access my Google account. Please remember that this is absolutely secure. Here I'm going to click on allow. And as we do that, you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now this means that Pabli Connect and Gmail are integrated. And now we have to fill in this information to send an email to the new lead. So first of all, we need the email address of the person. Now here we have received this information in the step above. I want to retrieve this information here. To do this, I'm going to click on this. Go to the step. This is the previous step and this here is the response. This here is the email address. 
Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time and you have received some new response then that new response can be taken into consideration here. Had I written this manually then this information would have become static and in that case even when you had received some new response there was no point because it would have only taken this email address or the information that you have written manually. So to avoid this problem, we map the information. Now the sender's name. So I'm going to go to the previous step. This here is the first name, give us space. And then we have the last name, email subject. So here I'm going to write query received. You can always write an email subject as per your objective. Then we have the email content type. This is absolutely plain. Then we have the email content. So here I'm going to write dear. Now I'm going to map the name of the person. First name, space, last name. And now I'm going to write your query has been received. Our relationship manager will get back to you within 24 hours. Please feel free to connect with us at abc at just Regards marketing team just dial. Now, if you have any particular file to be shared here, you have to enter the file name and here you have to enter the URL. Remember that this has to be publicly accessible URL and it should not exceed a file size of 25 MB. Now here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response as per this. Now this new lead must have received the mail. Let's go and check the same. So yes, we can see we have received this mail. This means our integration here is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger was just style, which is a local search engine. The event here is new leads. Then our action application was Gmail where the event was to send an email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.